What is up guys? Welcome to day 55 of Onshape. So on day 54, we went and uploaded a bunch of different files that are going to be used for this one. So if you haven't watched day 54, go back and watch it. Uh, so today we're just going to go straight to the assembly and throw these pieces in here. So we're going to use, we're making a gear system. So we got a 12 tooth gear and a 60 tooth gear, which is going to say a one to five gear ratio. And so when we're going to be doing that, that's what we got to have keeping them back for mind, that one to five gear ratio. So I'm going to go ahead and click on plus. We're going to go ahead and create a new assembly. And let's go ahead and pull these parts in that we need. So I'm going to click insert. I'm going to click in my 12 tooth gear. Here's my 60 tooth gear. We're going to need two two inch shafts, even though they're not actually two inches, which is a little annoying. We're gonna, that's going to be an important part when we're doing our mates, because if we assume they're two inches and we try to do some things, they're going to be a little off kilter. And we need a beam. Okay. I believe that's going to be it. So let's go ahead and get rolling. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to orient my beam here in a way for me to use it easily. And so if we click on that beam, it allows us to rotate it or translate it in a couple different ways. You have the X, Y, Z axis. I'm just gonna click on this Z axis and rotate it, up, rotate it upwards 90 degrees. Sometimes you have a hard time getting it perfectly to 90. So if you just type in 90 without touching anything else, it'll just snap it into place where you want it. Okay. As with all of our assemblies, make sure we fix something. That way, something won't move. Something has to not move in your assemblies in order for it to work. So we got the beam fixed. Let's go ahead and fasten our mates. Actually, we're going to do revolute first. We're going to revolute. We're going to have our axle. So the face of this axle is going to revolute. In, and let's click this, this uh, hole right here. The first thing I'm going to do is notice how I'm orienting it. So our first thing I like to do is go ahead and just make those faces flush and then do an offset of one inch. Okay. And then let's go ahead and do the next one. So we'll do the revolute here, zoom in a little bit, find the center of that face, flip it around, and then do an offset of one inch. Click the green check mark and we should be good to go. Now, I'm already in that mate environment, so I'm actually not even gonna click fasten. I'm just gonna go over here and you can change your mates as you put them in, let you be a whole lot more quicker in your assembly rather than having to go up to your toolbar. So we're gonna fasten, I'm gonna find the face of this gear. And if we have a hard time getting, so this is the front face I want and you see if I go to the center, it doesn't like it. So what I'm going to do is and hold shift on my keyboard and that allows to keep that face active while I'm trying to select it. Okay. That looks good. Go ahead and have them flush. Now let's do an offset of half an inch. Oh, it's going to be in the negative direction. Okay. Now, if you pay attention right here, you see my Z axis, the Z axis is pointed, let's say towards us a little bit. Um, that is positive Z. So if you look at your X, Y, Z lines right here, the direction it goes from your origin is considered the positive direction. So let's try that. Let's look at that again on the other one. So let's go this, this gear right here. I'm going to hold shift to select the center of that face. Select the center of this face. There we go. Let's go ahead and flip it. And we notice that my Z axis is coming out towards again. So I know when I do this offset, it's going to be a negative half an inch. Okay. And things are already looking really good. Okay. First off, before we try to do anything else, let's make sure these rotate as expected. That looks good. This other one rotates as expected. The last thing we need to do here is to set up our gear relationship and maybe do some small edits. So the order to gear relationship is gonna be between the first and the second revolute mates we have here. And that gear ratio, the way it's gonna be read is what is the gear ratio of your first to your second mate. 
And so our first one is going to have 12 to teeth to it, and our second one has 60 teeth to it. So that gear relationship should be, you can even do 12 over 60. Okay, which is a fraction, which is you can also type in 1 5, and it should rotate as expected. There we go. All right. Now, I'm not going to go super deep into compounds and things like that, but as far as how to uh, get this gear ratio to be what you want, easiest way to think about it is what is the gear teeth on your first gear and what is the, the teeth on your second gear, and just type it in as a fraction. If you could also just do 1 divided by 5, and that would work as well. And you, either case, you'll be good to go. All right, now it looks like our gears rotate as expected. However, there's a little bit of overlap here. We don't like that. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go down to my Revolute, and I'm going to edit one of the mate connectors. And so what we're going to do is we're not going to really touch anything else other than we're just going to twist one of these just a few degrees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in, usually somewhere between 3 and 5 is going to be your answer. And this just takes some small edits. I'm willing to bet if I have to go negative 5, that would be my answer. Yeah, let's go negative 5 degrees. And that looks like a daggone near perfect overlap. Okay. Now, as I rotate this, does the teeth of the gears work expectedly? Absolutely. So there we go, guys. We've officially made our 1 to 5 gear ratio. Just for the sake of making it look pretty, let's go ahead and animate it on a loop. Click play. And there we go, folks. All right. If this video is helpful, please, please, please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. I'm excited that school year has officially ended, so this gives me time to make some more videos. Um, I'm going to go elbow deep into some really cool projects, some things I'm going to be doing at my house, some things I'm going to be doing kind of for my classroom. So just stay tuned, uh, seeing what we have in store here. Okay, you guys are awesome. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out in any way and capacity you want to, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.